How's it going, friends? Reckless Yuki here. Hope you guys do a fantastic. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I do greatly appreciate it, and I'm really excited about this video to share this with you guys. For the past three plus months, I've been working on a way to test the mouse sensor input latency. It's something I've been trying to figure out, and I finally think I got everything knocked out the way that it needs to be done to ensure that there is no sort of caveats, there is no flaws, that this test will be a valid test when testing the input sensor latency of two different mice to try to find which mouse has the lowest input sensor latency. So this is something I'm very excited to share with you guys. And it's not only the actual way to execute it that I've been going over, also the financial part of affording the camera and things I needed to make this all work. So because I'm such a small channel, it kind of was a little difficult to put all these pieces together, but I finally do have all these pieces together and I've finally been messing around with this testing it. I feel that it is a solid test in order to give some real world results with some real world uh, basically numbers to kind of back things up. And <laughs> I'm really excited because I feel that this is something that's gonna be special to my channel, the way that I review mice, and no other YouTuber has done something like this that I've seen. Now, if I'm copying someone else's uh, design or layout, please let me know in the comments below because that is not my intent. I basically did a search for mouse sensor input latency test and things like that, and no one has come up with a rig that I came up with in order to test it. And I feel that for a YouTube channel, especially one of my size, that I can't possibly get any better than this, that this is actually a pretty solid setup in order to review the mouse input sensor. So anyways, before I ramble on too much, I just, I mean, I'm really excited about this. I'm just gonna kind of share with you guys, go over how I have it set up, show you guys what it kind of looks like when I get a, you know, like a review of like the results that I'll get and then basically kind of just put in my final thoughts. So if you have any questions or any comments or any concerns about this, please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer every comment I can, but if I can't get to everyone, I might do a follow-up video on this to kind of ensure that I work out all the kinks that are possibly there. But I feel that I finally worked out all the kinks that would be here. I tried different methods and I finally have something that will give me consistent results. So anyways, let's move on over to it. All right, so here's the setup in all its glory. And as you can see, there's a lot of parts involved to make this thing work. And I feel that this is a pretty good setup. I don't think that I could possibly make this any better. And especially for my own home setups, I think that this would actually provide some really accurate results. So we're just gonna kind of go over my theory in which I have things set up. And basically at the heart of this, um, I have these two mice clamped in with this sort of vice slash yard six slash L brackets with these nice padded L brackets here that I made and I have it sandwiched in so it hugs the mouse as tight as possible and it's absolutely placed down flat and pushed in so the, the mice basically aren't moving at all. I eliminated those from being any sort of sway when I'm trying to get results. The only moving part in this is going to be this turntable and the top of this turntable I basically cut my Corsair MM600 mouse pad and I placed it on top of here because this mouse pad was able to get a hundred percent accuracy when testing it with a Myonix caster. So I feel that this mouse pad would be the best for these sort of tests to ensure that the mouse pad is as accurate as possible for the sensor to be able to react as fast as possible so that it won't really throw off the test at all depending on the sensor. So the mouse pad should be perfectly fine. And so what I basically do is I have this dimmer switch. So instead of trying to fumble with the switches and touch the unit itself, because it's very finicky, if I touch it, I have this dimmer switch where all I do is turn it on and I don't make any physical contact with the table or the turntable. So basically once I turn it on, the first thing that happens is this turntable starts rotating and then it sends a signal to these Arduino units. So just show you guys basically like that. And as you see, the lights show up. And then when I turn it off, it will eventually turn off the Arduino units and then turn it on again, basically turns on again. So how this test works is I have the two mice hooked up to the two Arduino units and these two Arduino units are completely identical. The programming in here basically is set so that all it does is when it senses that the sensor and the mouse is moving, all it does is it lights up the LED and then that will show when the sensor is being registered and when it's sending out that it is actually moving. And these Arduino units are the same. There's no variances between them. I made sure to swap out the Arduino units to ensure that the results would be the same when I do this uh, sensor input latency test. And in order to capture that, I have this camera here, which is a Sony RX104. And this is able to capture a thousand FPS up to, I believe, 
four second bursts and that's plenty that's all i need so basically i set it up and start capturing it goes into burst mode and it's capturing a thousand fps and i click the switch on and then it just captures when these two things light up and then i basically put the footage on my pc go into vlc playback recorder um, and then just count the frames from when the first one lights up and count the frames until the next one lights up and then i kind of see the difference in between two mice to see which one has the better input latency and obviously the one that lights up first will be better because they are the most responsive and so that's the basic run through of this test um, definitely let me know if you guys see any errors in this but I mean I went through a lot of things I tried to have the two mice up on a board at an angle and I tried to like let them go at the same time but that also just led to complete inconsistencies where this set up the way that I have it now uh, my results are pretty standard and basically the way that I determine if a mouse sensor is set as far as its latency is I test it a few times about maybe three to five and make sure that the numbers I get are the same and then that's the sensor input latency that I determined for that mouse compared to the mouse I'm comparing it to and then that's how I basically do these tests or that's how I'm planning on doing these tests for uh, now and in the future. So that's basic, uh, basically a run through of how I have things set up. All right, so here we are with some sample footage of the test results. And this is basically how I'm going to test the results of which I came up with with this camera at 1000 FPS. And as you can see, the quality of the video is very poor, but that doesn't matter. I don't need this to be the perfect thing since all I'm doing is measuring when I see the light. So we're just going to kind of skip the frame forward until we see the first light. So that's the first light. And so from this frame, I'm going to count forward to see when the next light shows up. So one, two, three, four. So I count about four frames. Um, like I said, I'm going to do this three to five times, possibly five times and make sure that there isn't more than a one frame difference in the test results. And then I'll just take the average and divide it by five and then find the mean. And then that will be the millisecond results of the two different mice that I'll be testing. And so I'm not gonna tell you which mice this was, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys this is, you know, this is actually how I'll get results. And this does work. There is a difference between mice depending on the mice that I use. So I'm really excited to kind of use this as a result for future tests. So anyways, going back to my big, beautiful face. So that's a run through of exactly how I plan on doing this. It's you know, I think it's pretty foolproof as long as the results that I get on the Arduinos aren't varied. Now, if I get them varied and it's not like exactly right, I'll basically make sure I cinch down on the two platforms, the two grips to ensure that the mouse is completely stationary and then I'll retry it again. But from what I've tested just now, it's pretty much standard that that's the difference between these two mice and that's the difference that I can expect. And that's actual real world results when it comes to the input sensor latency. So I'm very excited about this test. And let me know again what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, I'm very excited to share this with you guys and I'm excited to have something that is of mine that will differentiate me from anyone else. And so, you know, no one will do this test. At least no one has thought of doing this test. This is basically my own personal test that I came up with in order to test mice for you guys so that you guys are informed of real world numbers when you're choosing to spend your hard-earned cash on a gaming mouse or gaming peripheral. But anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again in the next one, all right? Bye.